Okay, great. Um, this is the next step uh, in our process. Uh, I just pushed up my container to um, ECR, and we can kind of see it here. Uh, that's pretty great. And I can see my um, repository URI here. Um, that's where I want to get these images, and then I can see I have a V1. So this is exactly what I pushed. Um, so the last, well, not the last step, but one of the last steps um, in this process is now I want to deploy this container, uh, which I verified worked on my local machine, uh, to my cluster. So we're going to put it all, putting it all together here. Um, I need two things to do that. I need um, a way to deploy um, this container to the cluster, so it'll run, it'll be cool. And then I need a way, um, once that thing is running, um, uh, to link external web traffic to that, um, that container. Um, Kubernetes allows, uh, it kind of separates this um, into a load balancer and a deployment. And the reason they do that, well, there's many reasons, um, but one of the reasons is I can have um, many instances of this uh, container running. Maybe um, I have a lot of traffic and I want 45 of these web apps to run. Um, and then one load balancer sit on top. Uh, so that's basic web stuff, right? Um, you hit the load balancer. Um, it says, oh, I know where to go. Um, I'm going to take you to this web application. But in this case, it's going to take you to, to one of the 45 containers that I have running. Um, I'm only going to run one container, but uh, in Kubernetes, it's really easy to run multiples. So the first thing I'm going to do is deploy the container. Um, so to do that, you just need a couple scripts, um, which we'll just make here. I'll call this like a deployment folder. And I'm going to make a deployment.json. You can also do this in YAML. Um, and here's the, the page that talks about it. You should read this probably front to back, um, top to bottom. There's a lot of good stuff here. Um, but they have these like deployment configurations, which is fantastic. And this is in YAML, um, but it, uh, it's a deployment. Um, it has some metadata, so you can kind of find this later. Um, it has replicas. This is how many instances your container is going to run at once. Um, like I said, in high traffic situations, you probably want more than one um, container handling all your traffic. Um, and then you're going to give it um, an image name and an image, um, and then the port it's running at. So I have one of these, I think, already set up. Yep. So I'm going to just kind of paste this. Um, you can kind of take a look. Um, it looks a lot like the Kubernetes thing, um, except I'm only running one. I could run a thousand here. Um, um, but I'm just going to run one. Um, I know I'm on port 80. Um, actually, no, I'm not on port 80. I'm on port 8,000. And uh, that's, that's what my container is running on. Um, again, we can look here. And this is the best way to do this. This should be an environment variable for sure. Um, but it's 8,000 hard coded. Sue me. And uh, I need an image. Um, where's my image? Well, my image is on ECR. So let's go back to ECR. I will take this repository URL, put this here. And this is V1. This is the thing we pushed up earlier. So uh, we're going to deploy that thing. Let's do it. So we are going to deploy. We're going to say kubectl. Well, actually, let's go into that directory. So now I'm here. I have this deployment JSON. I'm going to say kubectl uh, create. Dash f. Dash f means file. I'm going to give it a file, which is deployment JSON. So this is uh, thinking about it. And it says deployment, right side deployment created. Now if I do kubectl get pods. Um, I can see that this thing is, is, is running, or sorry, it's trying to run. The, the status container creating. So I'm going to call this again and say, are you done yet? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? Cool, it's running. Um, that was quick. Um, so I can scale this thing if I want. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, but the other thing I can do is um, cube ctl describe pod, and I'm going to paste this, and I can kind of see some information about it. Um, what I can see, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, I can see the label that I gave it, which is cool. Um, I can see the image, which is what I deployed. Um, I can see the port that it's running on, 8,000. So this is good. Uh, there's a problem, though. I can't hit this thing. I have no idea if it's working. Um, and no one else can either, so it's kind of useless. Um, so what I need to do is I need to make a load balancer. Uh, so we'll do that next.